Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to take a look at the open item management in our general ledger account master data. I am logged on here in the S4 HANA GUI system, but I will simultaneously show this to you also in Fiori. We will start by navigating to the transaction FS00. Hit on enter. Over here you can see kind of a split structure. So on the left hand side, our account groups with the accounts are being displayed and here on the right hand side we can see the GL account details. I explained you this transaction already in another video of mine, so I will leave you the link in the description of this one. For now, we will click here on GL account general and we will select one of the accounts. As you can see, on the right hand side the detailed information is being displayed. Let's now click on the control data section. And if we scroll down a bit, you can see a section called account management and company code, where we have three different options for the open item management. Please be aware that this open item management is only relevant for balance sheet accounts. Let me actually go to the type description section. Here you can see the GL account type is a balance sheet account. This is not relevant for one of the other account types you can see over here. Let's go back to the control data. If we set the open item management, no matter which checkmark we set over here, this will then result in the case that when we post journal entries to this GL account, then those journal entries are managed on an open item basis. So the journal entries are initially marked as open, meaning that open postings to these accounts represent incomplete transactions. And only once we cleared the accounts via another posting, then the items will be marked as cleared meaning that the balance of those accounts over here will always be equal to the balance of the open items. Please be aware that we can only set one of the three options over here. So we can't choose open item management and for instance open item management by ledger group at the same time. Let's now talk about the three individual options we have over here. I brought you a small note to explain this in a bit more detail. So the open item management over here if we set this indicator, then as I explained before, line items posted to this GL account will result in open items that must be cleared by consecutive postings. And here I brought you some examples. So for instance, bank clearing accounts, payroll clearing accounts, cash discount clearing accounts, or also GIR clearing accounts can be defined as being open item managed. Please be aware that journal entries that are managed using this type of open item management can have no more than 999 line items. So meaning that if we post a financial transaction, then this transaction cannot consist of more than 999 line items. Let's scroll further down and look at the open item management by ledger group. This is this indicator over here. If we set this indicator, then this means that we can actually post ledger group specific entries to this account. And also the clearing is done per ledger group. Let me quickly show this to you. So if we hit this indicator and then navigate to for instance slash OFB50L, we would be able to insert here a ledger group for this account. Let's close this for now. Quite important is this sentence over here. So items that are posted to such a ledger group can only be cleared within the same ledger group. So we can't say that we post an item to the ledger group, let's say 0L for instance, and then we clear it with an item posted to the ledger group IF for the IFRS accounting. This wouldn't work. We would need to clear it with 0L as well. Let's scroll further down. You can see here some examples of accounts where we can't use the open item management by ledger group, which would be cash discount clearing accounts, tax relevant accounts, or GRIR clearing accounts. So the system would actually hinder me from enabling this open item management by ledger group if one of the following here is true. Also for this kind of open item management, we can have journal entries with up until 999 line items. Last but not least, you can see here another indicator called extended open item management. Let me scroll down a bit. This extended open item management is only allowed for goods received, invoice received clearing accounts. So those accounts used to clear our incoming goods receipts with our incoming invoice receipts. This year was introduced so that journal entries posted to this account can have more than 999 line items. So meaning that in this instance, up until 9,999 line items would be allowed in the invoice document. However, we always need to think whether this document we posted to the GRIR clearing account will or will not be further used for other scenarios. For instance, for tax or inventory management and so on. If this is the case, then even with the extended open item management, we can't have more than 999 line items for our goods received invoice received account with a single financial transaction. So far, so good. One more important thing is here that if 
no data was posted to this account, then we can always go into the change mode and set here for instance the open item management or the open item management by ledger group. For this particular account you can see that the extended open item management is grayed out. This is because we are not talking about a GIR clearing account here, but we are talking about an investment in bonds account in this instance. If I click on save, then you can see the data was saved successfully because I did not post any data to this account yet. Let me go into the change mode and change it back again. And let me actually choose the open item management by ledger group. You can see there is a information message. However, saving it was no problem at all. Let's go into the change mode again and change it back to the normal view. Let me now also show you how this looks like in SAP s using Fiori. In Fiori, we would navigate to the application called Manage GL Account Master Data. Select this one. Let's select the chart of accounts, then hit on Go. Let's now select the balance sheet account and here in the company code data, if we click on edit and on create, we could assign here a company code to this GL account. And if we scroll down a bit to the account management section, you can also see the open item management and open item management by ledger group indicators over here. The extended open item management indicator is not shown in this instance because it's context sensitive. So it will only be shown if we select the GIR clearing account. Okay, this marks the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.